guys, today I'm going to show you how I do my Maleficent makeup. First, I tried using these prosthetic cheeks. I will add a link to where I got them in the description. I applied a thin layer of Prosade to the back of them and carefully stuck them to my face. It was a very smooth application. After they dried, I applied foundation. At this point, I failed to notice that my cheeks look straight up swollen and ridiculous, so we're gonna restart. Here's the final look with the prosthetics. If you wanna add them, that's up to you. But I did not like how they looked on me. So I'm just gonna make do with my own cheeks because I'd rather be comfortable and save money and not look like I got stung in the cheeks by an entire beehive. You can make whatever choice you want and continue using the rest of this tutorial with no issues. First, I apply foundation all over my face. Without prosthetics, I'm also able to apply foundation much lighter because I don't have to blend prosthetics with heavy makeup application. Next, I contour my nose with beige eyeshadow. Her nose is straight and short, so I try to recreate that by brushing straight down the sides of my nose and under the tip of my nose. I also drag some shadows down from the nostrils, and I blend it. Then I contour my cheekbones. I start them from the hairline and drag them to the center of my cheek. You can be very generous with this part. I also drag the shadow down along the sides of my mouth. And I brush some shadows under my cheeks to connect my nose to my contour line. Then I apply a shadow to my cupid's bow. I also add some contour to my temples and forehead. Then I blend it all in. I also generously apply contour to my jawline to make it look sharper and more square. Next, I take light powders and highlight areas like the tip of my nose, down the center of my nose, the top of my cheekbones, above my lips, around my chin and my jawline and on my brow bone as well as under my eyes. Then I use lip stain to fill in my lips. I overdraw the lips a bit and make my upper lip slightly wider and sharper in the corners. I also overdraw my bottom lip, because Angelina Jolie has full lips. After I'm done filling in my lips with lip stain, I go over it with some e.l.f. matte lipstick. I apply it very lightly. Then with a dark burgundy pencil, I draw a line in the middle of my bottom lip, and two lines on my top lip, and I add some shadows to the corners of my mouth. Then I take a really dark brown powder and contour my cheeks to be sharper looking. I quickly dust it under my nose, and then add some shadows to my eye sockets. Next, I fill in my eyebrows with a dark brown eyebrow gel. Her eyebrows have a defined arch that starts right above the middle of her eye. Her eyebrows get thinner towards the ends and fuller in the middle. I go back in with some white powder to enhance my jawline. Then I blend it in. And again, I add some more contour to my cheekbones to make them look sharper. Next, I'm using Surreal Makeup Eyeshadow to highlight areas of my face. I highlight a sharp line directly on top of my cheekbones. I also highlight the tip of my nose, under my brow bone, and down the center of my nose, above my lip, and over my chin and jawline. I also highlight over my eyebrows, and I blend it in. Now I'm using a light brown eyeliner pencil and line under my lower lash line. I also extend my tear duct. Then I use a dark brown eyeshadow and lift the outer edges of my eye. With the same white highlighter from Surreal Makeup, I brush over the inner corners of my eyes. Then with some gold eyeshadow from Surreal Makeup, I apply it to the center of my eyelids. This really intensifies the green of her eyes if you plan on wearing contacts. I 
I apply dark brown shadow around my eyelids. I touch up the tear duct and blend everything in. Next, I use a black liquid eyeliner and line my upper lash line. She has a pretty dramatic cat eye look, so I try to recreate that. Before I finish the eyeliner, I pop in my contact lenses. I will add a link to where I got them in the description. They are very dramatic and perfect for this look and cover my dark eyes completely. Next, I use black eyeliner and draw over my lower lash line. With a dark brown eyeshadow, I add some more shadow above the wing. Then I use a darker liner pencil to blend in the liquid liner. I clean up the liquid liner. And I quickly touch up my jawline. Then I use some hairspray and apply it to an eyebrow brush, then brush down the hairs of my eyebrows so they don't move. Next, I curl my eyelashes and apply a generous amount of mascara to my top lashes. If you want, you can add false lashes, but I didn't find it necessary. I touch up my eyebrow hairs a bit with a dark brown liner pencil. Then I use some Prosade to glue on my elf ears. I apply Prosade to the inside of them, stick them to my ear, and then hold them until they dry. When I bought them, they didn't match my skin tone, but I just painted them with acrylic craft paint to fix that. I will add a link to where you can get some in the description. To blend them in a bit more, I use some foundation and apply it around the bare skin of my ear. Then I put on my second wig cap to compress my hair. I use an Elmer's glue stick to hold down the edges of my hair and protect it from other glue. Now it's time to put on my wig. I will add links in the description to the wig and horns I used. Then I used some eyelash glue to glue down the edges of my lace front wig. This is why I protected my hair with an Elmer's glue stick earlier. And that's pretty much it for the makeup! Hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. Next, I'll be uploading a tutorial about how I made these wings, and also how I made the full costume. There are plenty of other cosplay tutorials on my channel if you want to go check those out. Also, remember, if you want to use prosthetics for this look or reshape your face, that's great. Do whatever works best for you. At the end of the day, guys, remember this is all about having fun, so do it in whatever way works best for you. And don't stress about the little things. I'm so excited to see her new looks in the second movie coming out. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye!